Welcome back everybody, this is Glockman4519, I'm back with another ROM overview. Uh, this one here is CM13, uh, this one is for the Nexus 9. Um, the ROM is actually really, really cool, uh, it's working very well. Uh, I am running EX uh, Kernel, um, only because of forced encryption, uh, you know, things like that. Um, and let's just go ahead and get into this. If we go to uh, About Phone, you'll see this is Cyanogen Mod. Um, and this is a nightly. And this is for the uh, Nexus 9. Uh, Android version 6.0.1. Um, and the uh, kernel is Elemental X. Um, and this is the 4.11 version. Uh, which is basically the latest version for the Nexus 9. Uh, I run it on my Nexus 6 uh, along with Blackbird Kernel um, and Hell's Core. I think those are my three uh, favorite as of late. Uh, the SE Linux for this is enforcing though. Just be aware of that. Developer options. Uh, you have your advanced reboot. Uh, OEM unlock. Uh, make sure you make sure you have that unlocked. Uh, if you want to keep your bootloader unlocked, or if you run into issues, um, you want to make sure that that is unlocked. They've had some problems with uh, people trying to unlock their bootloader and not ticking that on. Uh, I've been reading a little bit about that on the XDA forum. Uh, then, of course, you have your uh, Android debugging. Uh, you want to make sure you do have that ticked on as well. Uh, you hit a wall. Uh, you are going to be able to uh, push files, uh, retrieve logs uh, through ADB. Uh, they do have a local terminal on this, which is great. You don't have to download one. If we scroll on down to the drawing section, uh, where all the animations are at, you will notice there is your multi-window mode. And then, of course, all the way at the bottom, you're going to have your Kill App Back button. Uh, again, guys, this is Signage and Mod, and I mean straight. This is the official version of Signage and Mod, so there are not going to be a lot of custom settings in this. So it, this is not going to be a long video, and I am only going to touch on the parts that I that I, I deem important anyways. Uh, here are your privacy settings for those of you that want to know them. Status bar settings. Uh, you have your clock style. Uh, you can go with uh, center, right, left, or hidden. Of course you have your AM, PM style. Battery status style. Um, yeah, I was hoping I could get uh, the 3-minute battery mod to work on this, uh, but it doesn't out of the gate. So, I'm going to have to see if I can find somebody who can uh, uh, make a zip for me. Uh, let's see, brightness control, uh, you have your quick pull down at the very bottom, uh, and of course show notification account, uh, uh, no, show notification count right above that. You guys will have to excuse me, uh, I've got a hell of a cold. Uh, all stuffed up, throat's all screwed up, so um, you just bear with me. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Uh, here are your lock screen settings. Uh, you do have your uh, where you can set up your lock screen for swipe, uh, pattern, pin, password, or none at all. Uh, you do have smart lock. Um, and then under that, your general with your uh, live lock screen. If you guys want to use that, it's there. Uh, lock screen message if you want to set something for that. Uh, of course, you have your uh, lock screen shortcuts, which it's signage and mods. So you're only going to get the uh, bottom shortcuts. You're not going to get middle shortcuts. That will be with a custom ROM like AICP, Resurrection Remix, uh, Dirty Unicorn, something like that. Uh, I think Pure Nexus might have it. Don't quote me on that. Uh, let's see, sounds, uh, you have your standard volume controls, volume controls, ah, I had to cough, 
Uh, and then you have uh, underneath that, uh, you do have your sounds uh, where you can pick for your uh, phone rings. And of course your notifications underneath that. Uh, and it is pure signage and mod. Uh, I haven't taken the uh, uh, the moment to uh, load any of my uh, personal ones on there yet. Uh, I will eventually. Uh, I'm still kind of playing around with this uh, new tablet. Uh, there are things I like about it, things I really don't like about it. Uh, I thought there'd be a lot more development for the Nexus 9. Uh, and I was sorely mistaken on that one. Uh, I just figured it, it, with it being such a good tablet, you know, that uh, a lot of the developers would have jumped on board. Uh, but apparently, uh, it must not be that great of a tablet. Um, under other sounds, of course, you have your screen lock sounds, touch sounds, volume, adjust sounds. Uh, then you have your charging sounds to enable or disable that. Uh, and then you have your vibrate and notification sound, uh, which is kind of weird. Uh, because they have that in two different places. You have it here, uh, and then of course you have it right here. Display and lights. You have your brightness level, adaptive brightness, or adaptive brightness, uh, your live display, rotation, uh, double tap to wake, double tap to sleep. Uh, then of course you can set up your uh, time for the, uh, the tablet to uh, fault out and uh, for the screen to go to sleep. Uh, wake on plug, cast. Uh, I have not tried cast so I can't tell you guys. I don't use it. Uh, so I can't tell you if it's working or not. Uh, you can pick your wallpaper here. Um, expand desktop, LCD density. Uh, I leave it right at 320. It's perfect for me right there. Uh, then you have daydream, uh, font size, uh, show search bar and recents, and notification light. Uh, I am going to turn the search bar in recents off. I don't use that. Uh, well, and I, I'll even show you guys the notification lights. Um, you basically just turn them on. You don't have the capability of setting any colors for that. Uh, that's just the way the Nexus 9 is. Next up would be uh, notifications. You have your heads up. Do not disturb. Uh, then uh, when device is locked, uh, app notifications, notification access, and then of course filter notifications. Under buttons you're going to have your nav bar buttons um, and of course your button layout. Um, at least signage mod gives us the option to change the buttons around. You hit the edit button, physically drag them where you want them, hit save, Bob's your uncle, uh, I am going to put them back. Under power menu, again, this is signage and mod uh, straight, so you're only going to get uh, the basic features, uh, which are good enough. They're better than stock. Then you have uh, press power button twice for your camera. Uh, and then underneath that you have your volume uh, button, your controls for that, uh, you know, your music playback, uh, skip tracks, all that. Uh, it's there. If you guys use it, this is where you go for that. And we have our security settings. Uh, you can encrypt the tablet if you like. Um, that's if you are unencrypted as I am. Uh, if you are encrypted already, uh, this will say underneath here, it will say encrypted. Oh, it does say encrypted. And I thought I was unencrypted. Huh, I'm going to have to do something about that. All right. Um, uh, that's pretty much it for the... Uh, security settings. Uh, of course, all the way down at the bottom, you have your uh, screen pinning. Uh, that's pretty much it for Sanjin Mod. Uh, the theme that I'm using is um, it is brand new, actually, to me. It's not brand new on the market. It's been out for a while. Um, it is new to me, though. Uh, I did... Uh, I, I, I like Gradient. 
Uh, Gradient has quite a few different themes. Uh, this one is called Nova by Gradient. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty cool theme if you don't like, uh, if you're not into uh, totally uh, dark themes. Uh, this has uh, a little, you know, it's kind of got a dark background, uh, but it's got a lot of panels on it, uh, really cool uh, buttons and stuff like that. Uh, so that is what the theme is that I'm running. Uh, here's what the Play Store looks like. It's not over the top, but it gives you just enough that you can tell it's themed. Settings look like that. I don't know if it does Google Plus or not. And I don't think that I even downloaded Google Plus. Huh, go figure. Oh, uh, let's see, Gmail. Uh, it is semi themed. Drive. Uh, I don't think Drive is themed. No, it's not themed. Uh, Google Now Launcher should be themed. Uh, I didn't set it up yet. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, let me think here. Well, that's it. Uh, the uh, The video is on Cyanogen Mod, which is running great. Uh, it encrypted my tablet, though. Uh, I am going to have to unencrypt it again. Damn it, there goes all my data. But uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, and I do like the theme, uh, although it's not as dark as I like it. Uh, I do like it. Uh, so if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, again, this is CM13 for the Nexus 9. Uh, I will see you guys on the next one.